I thought Bitcoin was a good idea in August of 2020. There's every single month for the past 13 months, there have been fundamental developments in the space that have made it a better idea. Every single month, every week, I almost see a new development that makes, that makes the network stronger, smarter, faster, harder. It makes it more anti-fragile. It makes it more like it, it becomes clearer and clearer that this is the future of digital property. This is digital energy. This is the future of digital money. This is the solution to the, the problems of the world. This is a macroeconomic imperative for $500 trillion worth of capital. This is a technical imperative for everybody in the technology industry and the energy industry. And this is a moral imperative for everybody on earth, right? So I've just become more convicted every single week, every single month that's gone by. There's not a single thing that's happened the past 13 months that I thought caused me to think that the future was riskier or less certain. I mean, even, even the China exodus, right? Which was probably the most brutal event that we've seen. It was a good thing for the network and it, it removed the biggest existential threats. You know, is China, is Bitcoin going to be hijacked by the Chinese government? What about a 51% attack? You know, how anti-fragile is the network? Is Bitcoin American or Chinese technology? After the China exodus, it became clear that Bitcoin is US technology. This is good for the Western world. This is part of the Western technology stack. This is Google and Apple and Amazon and Facebook and, and Bitcoin, right? This is, the, so the worst thing that happened was the best thing that happened. Everything else has been a good thing to happen. It's like, you know, you're just, you're watching every shoe drop. Companies adopting, banks adopting, politicians supporting. Right. The, the negative FUD in the media is, is just people noticing that Bitcoin is the most disruptive technology of the decade. And, and even the negative publicity is positive publicity. It's all just marketing Bitcoin. It's like if these people hate on it so much, why? It must be really good that they're so afraid of it. And, and we're, you know how you have a shock wave? Um, a shock wave forms when you move faster than the uh, than the air. If I move through the air faster than than uh, the air can um, can flow around me, then I create a shock wave. Uh, I'm disrupting laminar flow and I'm getting turbulence because I'm going too fast. Okay, Bitcoin is creating turbulence because it's going too fast. Right? When you see some uninformed politician that critiques it, it's because they were asked to have an opinion and they had 10 minutes to study it. And so they give an uninformed opinion. When some billionaire investor says they like gold better, it's because they're asked to have an opinion and they spent 30 years studying gold and they haven't spent 30 hours or 300 hours or a thousand hours studying Bitcoin. They had 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 15 minutes. A lot of people, you know, when these editorials are written in the journal and the New York Times, it's, I never seen anybody ever say, oh, I spent a thousand hours studying Bitcoin. Let me break down my problems with it. I never seen anybody say, I spent a hundred hours studying it. Let me tell you the 13 problems I have, you know, there are no informed critiques. <laughs> I have yet to see them. There are uninformed critiques. And what is that? That's the same as your fighter jet slamming into a wall of air faster than the speed of sound and you get a shock wave and you get turbulence and you get heat and you get sound and fury. And is that a bad thing? It just means we're moving fast, right? We're moving very fast and we're getting noticed and everyone has to notice it. Right. When you're asking the spokesperson for the Kremlin, you know, for 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 Putin, whether or not Russia is going to adopt Bitcoin as the national currency, that's not when they say not yet or no, that's not that's not a negative signal. 
That's a positive signal. Nobody asked Putin whether they're going to adopt Apple stock or gold or silver or the giant stone coin of the Yap people as currency in Russia. Right? There's only one question they're asking them. And they're asking them the question because it's on the table and that's indicative of the success of Bitcoin. So to summarize, I am more bullish than ever.